What's up, Pisces gang? Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time here. Welcome. I am Quisha here with Abundant Healing. I was sent here from the universe to give you guys some good messages, some good readings, some good love, some good vibes, and much, much more. Honey, I was sent here to give it to you. That's exactly what I am doing. So thank you guys so much for joining me today. Today we are doing your daily money reading. We do this every single day over here at the Millionaire Pisces Club. So if you are a true Pisces and you believe that you can accumulate millions of dollars, if you believe you could be a millionaire, if you want channel messages from the universe on how you can be a million, become a millionaire, um, and also how you can attract more abundance into your life, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button, honey, okay? Thank you guys so much for all of the support. I'm super, super excited that I have been receiving a lot of good feedback from the self-love mystery box. If you have not got you a self-love mystery box, honey, then what are you waiting for? Valentine's Day is coming up, and you need to treat yourself to something good. And the self-love mystery box is the best gift for yourself to promote more self-love, honey. Okay, if you are into crystals, I will say you need to be into... No, let me not say that because you don't need to be into crystals. But the thing is, there's a lot of crystals in there. Okay, so you need to know what these crystals mean. But you can always refer to my website if you get you a box and you're not really sure exactly what crystal it is. Go to my website and then, um, you know, or reach out to me. If you want to know what kind of crystals you have, if you're not familiar with the crystals that you receive, just reach out to me and then I will let you know. I'll send you some information on um, exactly the crystals that you have because I don't have a card specifically for the mystery boxes because they are all hand-picked. And these items that I put in there, no box is the same. So all the boxes that I send out are different. Okay, so if you need to, if you need more information on exactly what, or if you're not sure about the stone that you have, if you want to know what stone you have, reach out to me and then I'll go ahead and give you the information. Okay, let me get into your reading, honey, because I will go on and on. I'm so sorry, y'all. I had my caffeine today, so I am literally on 100. Okay, <laughs> so bear with me. Let me just jump into your reading here because I keep going. Universe, what messages do you have for me to give to the beautiful Pisces collected today in regards to money? Y'all remember to like, comment, subscribe if anything in this message resonates with you. Universe, please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces collected today. In regards to money, what messages can I give the Pisces collected today in regards to money, in regards to their income, in regards to their finances? What advice, what messages can I give the Pisces collected today? Thank you so much, Universe, for bringing in the most relevant messages for the Pisces Collective in regards to money. <clears throat> universe, please bring in the most relevant messages for the Pisces Collective today in regards to money, in regards to their income. What advice can I give them today, Universe? Thank you so much. Three of Pentacles showing up at the bottom. The Empress. The Moon. Okay. So what I'm getting, Pisces, with the Knight of Cups showing here in your most recent past, this is telling me that you have been receiving some type of offerings, maybe job offerings, maybe offerings from... Um, you know, businesses on doing deals and, um, but I feel like someone wants to come towards you and give you something. But what, okay, what I'm getting is that something is, Something has, something came towards you 
and it looked really good. Like it looked like this could be a job. Okay, let's say that you maybe a job offering that you received in the past, but I feel like you turned it down. I feel like you turned this job down. Like it was like maybe like another maybe it was like a, a, a corporate job or a nine to five or you know an office job or something that you that you used to do that you really don't want to do anymore because i feel like you did you turned this job down if you can see here like the, the way that the the way that these cards are being laid out it's like like someone is trying to give you something um but you're not really focused on what this person is trying to give you because you have your own goals and you have your own focus over here so someone is trying to come towards you and give you something but you're not really focused on that as you can see the her back is turned and she's focused on this coin that's in front of her so i feel like maybe this was a job I, I keep getting jobs, so that's what I'm gonna I'm just go with that because that's what that's what keeps coming to the fore, like in front of my mind. So someone here was you was offered maybe just maybe this was more than one job. Maybe you were, you know, being offered multiple jobs, but you've been turning these jobs down because you don't want to go back to a job. What I'm getting is with the page of pinnacles showing up here. This is someone who is wanting to do their own thing. You want to do something that is more in alignment with who you are. Um, you want to make money doing something that you love to do. Now, this could be you starting a farm. This could be you starting a business. Um, but this, 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 this is something that is creative this is something that you've always loved to do this could be a hobby that you are turning into a career or a business okay because what i'm getting is that you've turned down some job offerings or you turned down or uh, maybe this could be ways of getting money that does not resonate with you let me just say that on a broader scale you've turned down ways of getting money that does not resonate with who you are because i'm showing that you have received some offerings that look really good these offerings look really really good but you turn them down because you are focused on your goals like you are focused on um being in alignment with what it is that you do for money you're not no you're no longer doing stuff that is not in alignment with who you are like working a nine to five may not be for you okay or entrepreneurship may not be for you but to whoever this message is for you are doing something that is in alignment with who you are you are focusing on doing something like because i feel like I feel like this is new for you because the page of Pentacles is always the start of something new. It's always like something in the very early stages um, is what you're doing. Like I said, this could be you opening up. This could be you wanting to start your farm. This could be you wanting to do something very creative like painting. But whatever it is this could also because i'm getting with the page of pentacles something in nature something has to do with the animals or or just nature um maybe you're wanting to study plants or um study animals but you're doing something that is something that you've always wanted to do and it, and it feels good to you it doesn't feel like a job it feels like um you can do this for the rest of your life and not be paid for it. That's what you're doing, Pisces. Showing up here in your near future, you have the Four Swords. The Four Swords is suggesting that you get you some rest, Pisces. Maybe this new idea that you have, this new goal that you've set for yourself, maybe it has, you know, you know sometimes when we get an idea, we become obsessed, which is a good thing. And it can also be a bad thing too. Because when you're obsessed with something, you you just want to just indulge in it 24-7, honey. You don't want to sleep. Trust me, I've been there multiple times. When you find something that strikes your interest, you will like literally be up to 5 o'clock in the morning. So that's what I'm getting. Someone here has been spending a lot of time focused on 
your goals and just thinking of what you can do to um, bring this goal to fruition and accomplish this goal, the universe wants you to know that it is okay to take a break and give your body the rest that it needs and deserves, okay? Because productivity is not always about how much work you do. Productivity is also about knowing when to take a break, knowing when to rest. You do not want to overload yourself with a lot of things because your mind will literally get confused and get cloudy. So you want to make sure that you are taking time to rest and meditate okay if you've been working at something so hard that your head is hurting or you just can't focus anymore you need to take a break and just give your mind a rest okay you don't want to overwork your mind baby because your mind is very important to you and in order for you to be successful you have to treat your mind the same way you would treat your body if your body is tired you are going to rest i'm hoping that's what you're going to do because <laughs> that's what you're supposed to do when your body is tired you listen to your body and you take a break and you rest so to do the same thing with your mind if your mind is tired then give your mind a break and and rest your mind okay because sometimes our thoughts just get the best of us and we just get so caught up into thinking that we just forget to just rest our mind okay so don't forget to rest your mind don't forget to rest your body too because your body needs rest as well as your mind. Make sure you are getting eight hours of sleep or seven because some people think eight hours is too much. So at least seven, okay? Peter, let's tell me more. So at least get your seven, okay, Pisces? But you don't want to overwork yourself. You don't want to burn yourself out. You want to make sure that you are getting the proper rest and you want to make sure that you are yeah, look at that. Nine of swords. Somebody here is not getting enough rest. Somebody here is up all night focused and worried on this your your goals. Like, don't worry. Don't fear. I feel like this is what you used to do. And it's like, maybe this is an hab a habit that you have. Maybe you formed this habit because you're so used to just thinking about things so much. And, and Universe wants you to know, Pisces, to it's okay to take a rest, honey. It's okay to not worry about things and just give your mind a break. Give your mind a rest. Don't focus so much on the outcome. Focus on the journey. Okay, the journey. Beautiful. I love it. Yes, High Priestess. So, Pisces, you are used to you're someone here who probably struggled with anxiety. You probably had depression and you know as well too cuz it's showing up in your uh most recent past. So, you know, if you're someone who struggled with anxiety, then I would just suggest that you um look into meditation. Um find ways to calm your mind and and be a little bit not a little bit be more peaceful okay remember to turn your negative thoughts into positive thoughts okay don't spend too much time in your head because a lot of us pisces we spend a lot of time in our heads because we are dreamers and we like to fantasize so don't spend too much time up there in that fantasy world i know it get good i know it get good i trust me i've been there multiple times don't spend too much time in your head, Pisces. Make sure that you are meditating and that you are giving your mind a rest and a break. And you are meditating and you are breathing and you are coming back to center. There is no fear. There is no worry. Because guess what? With fear and worry, you're only being held back from your potential. Okay, showing up here, Pisces, you have the Ace of Wands. The universe is blessing you with new ideas and new creativeness and just all these beautiful things are being um, given to you by the universe. This is a fire that the universe is putting up under your butt to help you um, accomplish those goals because you're putting things into action, Pisces. You're no longer um, just writing down ideas you're no longer just thinking of these things you are putting these things into action but what you don't want to do pisces is get so caught up in your thinking and your mind just get more form a habit of um putting forth the action to your goals okay demand persistent 
in action from yourself because that is what the universe is giving you. The universe is giving you the fire, the desire to do something new, to do something that resonates with who you are. This is also you manifesting these things into your reality, Pisces, because when you can see it and you can believe it, honey, that is what is going to bring it to fruition. You have the fool showing up in your near future. This is a new beginning, a new fresh start. Okay, this is you taking a leap of faith. This is you getting to the other side because I feel like you've been you you've been depressed before. Okay, you've been worried and you've 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 been on this whole journey of fearing and worrying about what's next, what's gonna come, like you know. But on the other side of fear is abundance. It's a new beginning. Okay. It's a leap of faith that you're taking, and this leap of faith is going to definitely, definitely help you to become successful, to become the millionaire that you are, okay? This new beginning that you have, I feel like someone here just has this brightness about yourself because you've been in, the, in a situation where you wasn't so bright, but now... You know exactly what you want to do. And maybe that old job that you had was causing you to, you know, um, stress and worry so much. But now, and that's why you've turned those jobs down because you know that those things only bring you down. They don't uplift you. They don't strike your creative side. And that's what you want. You want something that is um, striking to your creativeness and it is helping you become better. And you're on the verge of something great Pisces okay with the fool coming this is telling me that you're starting something new and you're taking a leap of faith and you're trusting the universe has everything that you need the universe has your back honey you are divinely guided along this path and remember that life is not about the destination life is about the journey okay so be gentle with yourself Pisces because life is about the journey and not the destination and i'm going to end that reading on that note remember to like comment subscribe if anything in this message resonates with you okay um leave me a comment let me know what resonated with you remember to always take what resonates and leave the rest for your fellow pisces okay thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting all you guys who have bought a self-love mystery box thank you guys for introducing what the hell am I about to say? Thank you guys for investing in um, me and also investing into yourself. Because, you know, when you purchase a self-love mystery box, you are investing in your self-love, okay? You are telling yourself that I am in control over my own happiness. And that's what you're doing when you're purchasing a self-love mystery box. Let me get out of here, y'all, because I'm just, this caffeine got me going. So I hope you guys are having a beautiful day. Remember that I love you guys, okay? All right, y'all. Bye.